the Miniature Schnauzer and the Border Terrier. When glancing at these two wiry little terriers, it's pretty easy to tell the two apart, but they do have a lot in common and a few differences. Let's compare the Miniature Schnauzer and the Border Terrier in our ongoing series, Dog vs. Dog. Let's get started. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to become part of our notification squad to not miss a single fact. Touted as among the oldest of the British Terriers, the Border Terrier was developed near the Cheviot Hills between England and Scotland. Originally, the dog was bred to chase and kill foxes that caused trouble for farmers and later to accompany foxhounds on fox hunts. The Border Terrier, which was the smallest among the long-legged terriers, had to be very fast to match a horse's pace and yet be small enough to dig out or follow a fox into his burrow. The first record of this breed dates back to the 18th century. Its ancestors were said to be associated with the Dandy Denmont Terrier. The development of the miniature schnauzer isn't as well documented. There aren't any records of how the miniature schnauzer was developed, but the intent, or perhaps by accident, was to create a smaller version of the well-established but much larger standard schnauzer to work as a small ratter, a job which the breed excels at. The earliest record of the miniature schnauzer was a black female named Findle, born in 1888. In 1895, the first breed club was formed in Cologne, Germany. The miniature schnauzer was developed in Germany by crossbreeding the standard schnauzer with smaller breeds such as the miniature pincer, effen pincer, and poodle. In Germany, the miniature schnauzer is known as the sferg schnauzer. Sferg's means dwarf. According to the AKC, unlike the other terriers, the miniature schnauzer has no English bloodlines. This explains that though the mini was bred to do the traditional work of small terriers, its personality is quite different, as we'll see in a bit. These two small but sturdy terrier breeds are close in size. The miniature schnauzer can be slightly heavier at 11 to 20 pounds compared to the border at 11 to 16 pounds, but the border terrier can be a bit taller at 10 to 16 inches tall compared to the miniature schnauzer at 12 to 14 inches. The border terrier is a small dog with a compact body. Their ears are typically folded over their forehead, and their bushy eyebrows gives the impression that they're always thinking. The Border Terrier's wiry coat can be red, grizzle and tan, blue and tan, or wheaten. The small square miniature schnauzer has a wiry coat and profuse furnishings on its legs, a distinctive beard, and bushy eyebrows, much like its larger standard schnauzer brother. The coat color is pepper and salt, grayish, black, or striking black and silver. The Border Terrier has a distinctive temperament to go along with its distinctive looks. When it comes to vermin, the Border has the Terrier fire, but the Border is also more flexible than most other Terrier breeds. This is a very friendly breed. The Border Terrier is good with kids, family, strangers, and even other pets for the most part. With his family, it's affectionate but self-reliant. The Border loves to cuddle, but also has no trouble keeping itself entertained. A note of caution, the Border has an incredible wanderlust and can be an escape artist. A miniature schnauzer is full of life, an extrovert, this breed loves to be in the middle of any family action. The mini wants to touch you and be next to you all the time, and you can bet it'll demand to sleep in your bed. The miniature schnauzer isn't as kid-friendly or stranger-friendly as the border terrier, but with early socialization, this can be overcome. Though both breeds are of high intelligence, don't assume they are easy to train. 
Both dogs share a typical terrier stubbornness and neither is focused or patient with training. But both breeds are eager to please and are highly trainable. You just have to put in the work and not fall for the manipulation. The Border Terrier is a highly energetic, spunky little dog born to run. Thankfully, because of its small size and medium exercise needs, you can get away with a good long walk a day and a game of fetch or two in your house or yard. Miniature Schnauzers are versatile dogs who can live in the city or the country. They need daily walks and time to run every week, but they can be just as happy living in an apartment as a farm. The Schnauzers yard should always be fenced in because these terriers will take off like a shot if they catch a glimpse of a cat, rabbit, bird, or squirrel. Both breeds need to chase and dig, which can be channeled productively by enrolling your pooch into earth dog activities or agility training. These activities can keep your pooch's mind and body active and it'll love the bonding time spent with its favorite person. The Border Terrier and the Miniature Schnauzer have similar lifespans, with the Border Terrier typically living between 12 to 15 years and the Schnauzer between 12 and 14. Both breeds are generally healthy dogs, although the Miniature Schnauzer may have an advantage when it comes to healthiness. The Border Terrier can be prone to heart murmurs, hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and seizures. The Miniature Schnauzer can suffer from vision problems including cataracts and retinal atrophy, usually both associated with old age, as well as a chronic lung condition called Mycobacterium avium infection. Both dogs can be prone to overeating and without proper exercise, can become obese, risking other weight-related complications. So, which of these tough little terriers do you pick? Let us know in the comments. If there are other breeds you'd like us to compare, shout them out. We'll give them a look. If you like this video, check out some of our other videos here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more cute, cuddly canines. And as always, Catch you next time.